The Canadian video game developer Relic was started in Vancouver, British Columbia by Alex Garden and Luke Maloney in 1997. Homeworld was released to critical acclaim and successful sales on September 28, 1999. In September of 2000, Barking Dog Studios released a standalone expansion, Homeworld Cataclysm. Relic released the source code to Homeworld in September 2003, just before the release of the full sequel, Homeworld 2. Homeworld 2 boasted improved graphics and gameplay, though it did not score as highly as the original. In April 2004, publisher THQ acquired Relic for nearly $10 million. Relic then released Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War in September 2004 and Company of Heroes in September 2006. In 2007, THQ acquired the rights to the Homeworld franchise from Sierra and Vivendi. After the acquisition, several Relic Entertainment founders and Homeworld developers left Relic and founded Blackbird Interactive to produce a space RTS without the Homeworld name and license. That was the beginning of the end for THQ. By 2013, the company was bankrupt and the rights to their games were auctioned off. An independent development studio called Team Pixel ran a Kickstarter campaign to acquire the Homeworld franchise, but despite raising over $70,000, they were not able to make the purchase. Early in 2013, the programmers at Gearbox Software were surprised to hear from their managers that the company would be bidding on the Homeworld franchise. Gearbox is known for action games like Borderlands and Brothers in Arms, not strategy. A listing of the code and the resources that would be provided to the winning bidder was released by THQ. The code was old, the compilers were outdated, and several of the required codecs had long since been abandoned by the industry. In April 2014, Gearbox CEO Randy Pitchford announced that they had acquired the Homeworld franchise, in the process of preserving the purest form of the original game while taking advantage of modern technological advances, would begin immediately. The project was called Homeworld Remastered. The next several months were spent patching holes in the code and just getting the thing to compile. A lot had changed in 13 years. This time, the fans came to the rescue. Over the years, fan-made mods had archived all the tools that were released and the fans themselves have helped to unravel the more tangled bits of code and supply missing resources. For example, the source drop from the purchase of the Homeworld property was 16 gigabytes. The additional missing source material provided by friends who had originally worked on the game came out to 39 gigabytes. The dedication of the community and the fans played a large role in bringing Homeworld back to life. The purpose of the project was never to create a new game, only to give the game we know and love the opportunity to be experienced with modern machines and by a new generation.